In this play, Shadow of a Hummingbird, um, I am putting on the... I'm going out onto the stage as an actor again for the first time after 15 years. I did a lot of acting in my youth and I have acted in a lot of my plays before and in quite a few plays by other playwrights. But about 15 years ago, I felt that I had somehow reached the end of my, my, my life as an actor. Because I've worn all three hats that go with the performance of a play. I've been both the, the actor, I've been the director, and of course I was the writer. And sometimes I was all three of those at the same time. And for 15 years I've not felt drawn. Well, probably there were moments when I was tempted a little bit, but basically I said, no, my acting career is over. I'm just a director, and one day even the director will go, because the essential Ethel Fugard is a playwright. But when I wrote this play, uh, it wasn't, I don't think I was really conscious in the writing of it that I had to act it myself. But once the play was written on pa paper, um, I had no hesitation or I didn't have to think twice about deciding I want to act my own role. I came to New Haven because Gordon's done quite a lot of my plays, several of my plays, and I've seen them and I've really, I know he knows what he's doing. But when I came here knowing what a difficult human being I am, and I am a difficult human being, I thought, oh God, Gordon and I are going to lock horns and battle through every day. But it's turned into a romance. We, we, we have a great time together. I trust him, he trusts me. And you got that, you've won the battle. When I go into the, the room where I write, I know that the only emotion I should really take with me into that room is love. I, and I think it is the hallmark of most writers who have written something that's of meaning to others that they have written out of love.